Okay, I've had a bit of a clean up. And now we're gonna strip this cam plate down. The, uh, what I've done off camera, because I forgot to switch it on, is I've pulled, let's see that, pulled the, the shoe back to take the tension off the, off the inner cam chain and put the pin in. As I say, I did that off camera because I forgot to switch it on. Uh, on here, behind your cam sprocket, there's a spacer. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's writing on the spacer, and its uh, writing goes in. So, stick that to one side. Now then, if you remember, when I was stripping this down originally, when I took it out of the cam chest, I was uh, on about taking the bolts out. You can either leave them in and pull your oil pump out, or you take them out and you tend to leave the oil pump in the cam chest. And uh, I was a bit surprised because my oil pump came out. Well, with this... Uh, filming carry on trying to concentrate on whether or not you can see what I'm actually saying and stuff like that I forgot to take the the chain guide off which in turn you just press that press the two tags together and it pulls through so you take your chain guide off and underneath your chain guide there's another Allen head, which I forgot all about. And after watching some of these videos back, you may have noticed that I'll be talking away and uh, just stop mid-sentence and not carry on, or I'm ending up, I'm calling bolts nuts and nuts bolts and stuff. It. Uh, it's surprising actually just when you're trying to concentrate because normally when I come in to do work in my garage I just slap a CD in the CD player usually got a brew and then I just get cracked on and get the job done don't normally film anything I don't even talk because obviously there's no one in here to talk to and I'm not in the habit of talking to myself so setting up to do filming and trying to concentrate on as I say whether you can see it uh, it's thrown me a bit to be truthful and as I say I'm getting a couple of things mixed up including this so now I should be able to just pull this oil pump away Just stick that out of the way for now. Now what I'm going to be doing, um, as I say, I'm going to strip the cam chest down, get the cams out, the bearings out and everything. I'm going to clean everything up, but I also want to press out the pinion shaft bush. Um, my crank's been a, a little bit out of true, not much, but it's... Uh, when I measured that, it's knocked it out around. So, but I've ordered a a new trued and welded crank. So that's on its way from America. But uh, yeah, I'm going to press the bush out, put a new bush in, which I've got somewhere kicking about. Yeah, new cam bush, which if anyone's interested is part number 25344-99. So that'll be going in, and then that'll be reamed and horned to the right size. 
to allow for clearance but obviously until the new crank turns up I won't be able to measure the pinion shaft to get to work out what the clearance needs to be so oil pump off now what we need to do is on the back you'll notice there's a like a, a plate it's held on with four torque screws and it, it slips in behind your cam gears in, be, in between your cam gears and your cam plate so I'll just stop you for now and get my tools and we'll get them taken out right That's the plate. Now, I don't know if you can notice this. The cam with the the sprocket on on the front, it's actually loose. You can, it'll actually come in and out on its own. But the, the other side one, it's quite solid so you need to press it out. So, I'll just knock you off for a minute and we'll get set up again to somewhere different. Right, I've got my press set up. <coughs> what I'm going to do is press the cams out. <clears throat> well, out of the uh, cam plate. Now, normally, you can set two up with a thing on pushing both out, but because that's free moving, I usually just push the one, the one bearing out first. cams underneath so that they don't just drop You're off for a second. Right, same as before. Just uh, set the bearing up. And just start. And just very carefully. Let's 
Shibarian out. Right, and as I've said already, I'm going to be pressing this bush out, but before I do it, I need to uh, find a, a press tool that's the right side. It actually, that's the inner side of your cam plate, and that's the outer, and you want to be pushing it out from that side and pushing it back in from this side. So for now I'll put that to one side until I get the right tool for the job and we'll call it a day on the cam plate and I'll just stop you for now and we'll set up to take this uh, bearing off, off the cam. Right, I've got the bearing puller set up on the uh, on the cam to pull the bearing off. So hopefully it should just That's the bearing off the cam. Obviously bearings you might have uh, figured out if you've been watching all these videos all the bearings in this motor and gearbox and primary are all getting replaced. Um, things like rocker arm bushes they'll be checked for clearances and, and if they're in spec then they'll be left alone if they're not in spec then they'll be getting replaced as well so for now I'll knock you off and I think the next things we'll do is we'll uh, press the bearings out of the main cases I'll knock you off for now right one thing I forgot to mention when I set this up to, with the bearing puller to pull the bearing off there's a circlip that needs to come off sits in that groove there so take your circlip off before you remove your bearing okay. right I've found a uh, a press bar that I can push this bush out with the uh, pinion bush in the cam plate so I won't be using the same thing to push it back in I'll get a proper tool for that it drop through you can see it's got like uh, splines on one end and that uh, digs into the, uh, the cam plate on the inside you can see that um, just locks it in place so that's that out as I say, I'll get a proper 
proper bit of kit. What I'm wanting is sort of same size as that, but turned so that it sits inside the new bush, which will be the actual new bush is smaller internal than this. So I'll get it to sit inside and then it push like hods it straight, pushes it in straight. If you're doing one of these bushes inside there's a hole there and it obviously for oil to go through into that groove inside the bush and that you've got a limited bit of space there's an oil, an oil hole in there inside and you've got to line that hole with that oil way so just make sure that's in line when it all goes back in and you'll be right. Right, that's it with the cam plate for now. We'll get set up and we'll uh, press some bearings out of these cases. Right, left hand side casing. Before we press the bearing out, there's a couple of things we need to do. There's, uh, I've already removed the thrust washer from the inside, from the other side. You just push it through the oil seal and keep that check it. You then need to, uh, the casing itself, I've got sat on a support. And we're going to drive out the oil seal with a drift. So just stick it through. Oh, not that one, it's too big. Stick it through onto the edge of the seal and just work your way around. What that does is knocks your oil seal out. Right, next thing is there's a like a snap ring, uh, like a know, what do you want to call it, a lock ring, sits on top of the bearing. Sometimes it can be fiddly to get out, other times it can come out quite easily. But basically just push it in and work it up. work around and pop that out. Right, I'll get you set up at the press and we'll get that bearing pressed out. Right, we've got the case set up in the press. There's a support tube underneath uh, and we'll press the bearing through.
bearing pushed out of the case. I'll stick that to the side for now, I'll knock it off and then we'll get this other half set up. Okay, we've got the right hand side casing in the press now. Um, same setup as there's a support tube underneath and the part to press the bearing out with. On the left side case, uh, when you push the bearing out, it uh, well, it's not so much when you push it out; it's when you press it back in. It uh, when you press it back in, it just pushes onto a like a stop. So you push it home until it stops. On the right hand side case. Let's see if I can get this so you can see. Yeah, on the right hand side case, it's just right through straight. Um, and there's a tool that you set it up with so that when you press the bearing back in, it only pushes it in so far, it's something like six and a half mil or something like that. Um, so you've got to have a tool or at least the correct measurements so you know exactly where to put the new bearing back into. Right, I'll just stop you a minute and then we'll press the cam bearings out. Right, we've got the case turned over to press the uh, the cam bearings out, needle rollers. Um, on your bars, make sure you're not up, so you're catching your dowels. Make sure your surface that it's sitting on is clean, so it can't rock. You want it so it's pushing it out straight. This is the, the Torrington bearing, the B148. It's a full needle complement rather than the standard ones which don't have as many needles in needle rollers in them. These are a better quality bearing. Obviously they'll be getting replaced. the next one out. It's 
Sweet. Right, next thing on this uh, case in is uh, I'll take the I'll take the oil jets that shoot oil up into the underside of your pistons I'll take them off and then uh, I'll be taking the The oil pipe bits off the fittings that go in the case obviously, pick out all the o-rings that are left in and then basically this will be getting washed, proper good clean up and then uh, whole new bearings fitted etc. So I'll just stick this to one side for now. Off for now, we'll get set off and we'll take these jets out. Right, these uh, oil jets are held in with each one's held in with two Torx 20 screws. And when you take them off underneath, there'll probably be an O ring. And if there isn't, somebody screwed up. But there'll be an O ring under these, so that'll be getting discarded and replaced. But the jets themselves will get a, a clean out, make sure there's no inside clogging them up. Blow some crap up there, make sure the, the little spray nozzle in the end's clear. And there's your o ring. them off. The next thing on the agenda is to unscrew these three oil pipe fittings. Let's get some sockets. Get there eventually. Right, I'll just knock you off for a minute till I find the right size. Right, found the right socket, nine sixteenths. threads. It'll be 
you any bit further than that when we go back in. And it basically just leaves a couple of rings to pick out. There's an o-ring down where your oil pump goes in. And that's pretty much it. So it just needs a good wash now. And uh, check the, all the oil ways, make sure they're all free of gunge and any foreign matters that you really don't want to have running around in your oil. And then it'll all start going back together. Okay, that's it for now.